anti-Israel protesters obstructed, beat, and bear sprayed Jews who were simply trying to enter. A friend texted on Sunday afternoon, just checking in to make sure your family is okay after everything in LA today. I hadn't been online and had no clue what he was talking about. It could have been anything, an earthquake or a wildfire, but something told me it was anti-Semitism. Unfortunately, I was right. Protesters waving Palestinian flags and shouting anti-Israel slogans gathered outside Adas Torah Synagogue in Los Angeles's Pico Robertson neighborhood on Sunday. They tried to block the entrance and were soon met by counter-protesters waving Israeli flags. The groups clashed. Adas Torah officials said the anti-Israel demonstrators maced and bear-sprayed Jews trying to enter the synagogue, which was holding... So I think it's generally a bad idea to unnecessarily physically brawl in these situations. But if the opposition has set up a blockade so that you can't do the things that you need to do and want to do, then you have created a situation where a brawl is very much in your group's best interest because the police may never get around to creating a space for you to go about your business. ...an Israeli real estate fair. Talia Regev, 43, said she was sprayed and saw violent altercations between the two groups. There was nowhere to turn where you could be safe, said Naftali Sherman, 25, who had planned to attend the synagogue's fair. He was attacked and ended up in the hospital. There was a whole gang of protesters on top of me. They broke my nose and kicked me in the head a couple of times. Israeli-born journalist Daniel Greenfield reported that an anti-Israel protester had threatened, billions of us will come and kill you. President Biden and California Governor Gavin Newsom took to social media to condemn Sunday's act of hate. Los Angeles Mayor Karen Bass promised that the police would provide additional patrols in the Pico Robertson community as well as outside of houses of worship throughout the city. It's good they spoke up, but tweeting isn't enough. Nor is standing by and watching. Members of the Los Angeles Police Department observed the melee unfold rather than protecting those targeted by the mob. It took volunteers from nonprofit Jewish security organizations, including L.A. Shmira Public Safety and Megan AM, to break up the scuffles.